Hello students, today we are going to study about HCF by division method. Now what is full form of HCF? Can you tell me? Write in the comment box. Highest common factor. Let us take a very simple small example. Highest common factor. Now you know all factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? 1, 12. 1 into 12 is 12. 2 into 6 is 12. 3 into 4 is also 12. This is, these are the factors of 12. Factors of 12 are these. Now what are the factors of 15? What are the factors of 15? 1 multiplied by 15 gives you 15. Then 3 multiplied by 5. Now what is the highest common factor among these? You see 1 is also a common factor. Here also 1 is common factor. So what are the common factors if you write common factors? What are the common factors here? 1 and even you find 3. But what, which is the highest common factor? Highest and that is 3. So 3 is the answer of this. But this is finding out it's here by factor. We have to be focused on the different Today we will learn about how to find out HCF by division method. Now as the name suggests division method. So we divide. Divide what by what? The bigger number. Any big among these which is bigger? 15 is bigger. So 15 divided by 12. 12 ones are 12. Remainder is what? 3. The remainder becomes the divisor. See? Divisor. And what will you write inside here? This. This 12, this comes here. Now, 3 4s are 12. We get a 0 here. Now, what is the HCF? The HCF is the last divisor. We see the last divisor. Which is the last divisor here? First is 12, this is 3. So, 3 is the last divisor. So, what is the HCF? HCF is equal to 3 in this case. Let us take one more example and see how we are getting the HCF by division method. Let us see. Let me take one more example. Let the example be 36 and 150. Now which is bigger among these? 150. So we take 150 here and we start dividing it by here. The number that is 36. Now how many times will it go? 3 times. Two, forty-two. No, it cannot go because remainder can never be greater than the device. So, it will go how many times? Four times. So, let us see. Four six are twenty-four. Two in hand. Twelve plus two, fourteen. When you subtract ten minus four, six. This becomes four. Now six will become what? The device. And what will become the dividend then? This 36 has to come here. So 36. Now 6. 6 is 36. Now which is the last divisor? We have to be focused on the last divisor. What is the last divisor here? The last divisor is what? 6. And therefore, what is the HCF? HCF is also 6. Now let us want you all to find the HCF find the HCF of 28 and 36 and write in the comment box what is the HCF of 28 and 36 two numbers there now let us take three numbers and try to find out HCF by division method so let us take an example the next example is 105, one number. The second number is 140 and the third number is 175. Now as the name suggests, division method. We have to go with the division. Division of 140, we can choose any two number, any two number. I am choosing the first two divided by 105. How many times it is going? One time. 105. What is coming? 35. 
Now this will become what? The divisive. And what will come inside here? This one zero five. Now how many times will it go? Three times one zero five. Now if had it been only two numbers here, so what is the HCF? The HCF is thirty five. HCF is what? Thirty five. Now this this number we have to divide one seventy five with this HCF of these two numbers. So. One more step is added. That's all. 175 divided by 35. Now, how many times will it go? 5, 5 is 25. 2 in hand. 15 plus 2, 7. What is the remainder? 0. Now, again, we have to be focused on what? The last device. The last device will not be considered from here. It has to be considered from the last number which you are dividing. Now, what is the last divisor? Last divisor is what? 35. And therefore, HCF is equal to 35. So, this is how we find HCF by division method. Now, I would like you all to find out HCF by division method of these three numbers, 20, 64 and 104. Find the HCF of these three numbers and write the answer in the comment box. Now, the ones I have seen all will write three answers in the comment box. I have asked three questions during this explaining this video. So, write all the answers. I hope you have understood the concept. Thank you for watching.